I could drink chai tea lattes for the rest of my life and be satisfied. Hey guys, so I'm currently outside. Um, weird, I know. So today, I have a very interesting video. A lot of you guys requested that Boy. I do- Oh my gosh, you scared me so bad. <laughs> 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 anyway. So my friends are just upstairs, just ignore them. <laughs> so on Instagram, I had a poll where I asked you guys, what videos would you guys like to see? And a lot of you guys just said a simple Q&A or just a get to know you video. So I was like, that's so true. I haven't really like explained anything on my channel about myself or anything like that. So I got a lot of questions from you guys, like a ton. A lot of questions. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to answer all of them. Um, some of them are like repeating questions too. So yeah, I'm just gonna answer as many as I can and give you guys as much information as I can within the span of this video. Let's just hop right into it. Before I get into the questions, do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you guys wanna see more of my content. And um, yeah, so there's like this red box down below. It says subscribe. It's pretty self-explanatory. You hit that and then you're subscribed and then you're notified every time I post a video, so <laughs> self-explanatory. <laughs> so let's just hop into these questions. I'm a little nervous because I have not read all of them yet, um, so they could be interesting. Um, we're just gonna answer and you're just gonna see my raw answer because I have nothing prepared. <laughs> let's, just, let's just dive right in, I guess. All right, what's your favorite TV show? Oh my gosh, Glee, for sure. I literally am obsessed with Glee. I've watched Glee probably like four times, like all the way through, like the whole entire series. It's just really good. I'm a musical person, if you didn't know that already. I love musicals and everything music, so that's probably why. What's your work life look like right now? And that's from Jabin. Hey Jabin, what is up, my friend? My work life right now is, I do two videos a week, so I'm doing two videos each week. Um, right now though, since I'm in school, I don't have set days that I'm going to be uploading just because my schedule right now is so like confusing and it's like always changing. So for myself, I'm telling myself I'm gonna upload two videos a week. However, um, at the end of the year, once I am like have a lot more freedom, so starting in May, I will be able to upload probably probably three, four, five videos a week. So stay tuned for that. Um, how many shows have you done? Oh my gosh, I like how like you guys are actually interested in like musicals, but um, how many shows have I done? In May of 2018, I finished my 20th show. So I have done 20 musical production, well not musicals, but plays and shows. Yeah, I've done 20. When was the day you received Christ in your heart? So I've grown up in a Christian school my whole life. So I kind of have always known about the idea of God and um, there was a day where I accepted Christ into my heart when I was in first grade <laughs> um, Just because it's kind of how I was raised, but I would say that uh, when I made it kind of my own decision and I when I Decided hey, I'm actually gonna pursue God full heartedly. I'm gonna like pursue him with my whole life That was probably my junior year of high school, which was three years ago. So yeah, I would say that <laughs> so literally a million of you guys like asked to share my testimony and I would love to share my testimony I'll I could do a whole video about it though so if you guys are interested in hearing my testimony um, comment down below because I would love to make a testimony video but I don't want to include it in my Q&A because it's probably too long and I'll take up like the whole video <laughs> another question was when did you start taking your relationship with God seriously again like I said that was my junior year of high school where I was like all right like I actually want to pursue God with my whole life. Someone said, hey Chloe, are you going to pursue ministry full-time after leaving BSSM? Also, you are so gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. That's an interesting question. Um, right now, I am planning on, after I graduate, to just be focusing on my YouTube and my online ministry and at the same time being surrounded in the same culture. So I'm gonna stay here in writing for a while. I wanna be surrounded by the worship culture because I really would love to be a worship leader. And so I just wanna be surrounded by this atmosphere of amazing worshipers with Bethel Music here and everything. So yeah, I would love to pursue full-time worship ministry one day. But as of right now, I'm gonna be focusing on my YouTube and my online ministry platform. Another person said, what's your testimony and why did you go to Bethel Music School? Um, this is funny, a lot of people have called it Bethel Music School, but it's not really like music based. It's Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. So it kind of encompasses every aspect of ministry. There's like youth ministry, there's women's ministry. It's like not just music, but I decided to go there because I decided that college life wasn't for me and that I didn't feel like God was gonna be calling me to college. And so I kind of knew that. I heard about BSSM the beginning of my senior year. And as soon as I heard about it, I was kind of like, oh, like I would love to do this, 
but I feel like society says that I need to be going to college. So it's kind of hard for me to decide like, oh, actually, no, I should be doing what God's calling me to do rather than whatever everybody else in the world wants me to do. I prayed about it because it was a hard decision because it was across the country. Um, I'm from Michigan and I had to move all the way to Reading for Bethel. So it was a big decision and I had to pray really hard about it. I really asked God like, if this was what he was calling me to do that he would make it very clear he'd provide for me to go and he did i have i had all my tuition paid off i had my, i have my entire missions trip to italy i'm going to italy in march i had that completely paid off my rent and just he provided in unexplainable uncomprehensible ways just that was a huge sign that god really wanted me here and so that's kind of why i decided to come i also really wanted to come because i did want to come for worship and I came here to study more worship and just to be surrounded by Bethel music. Favorite worship songs? I got a lot of that. I actually just uploaded a video of my favorite worship songs. I'm doing a favorite worship music playlist of each month so I just uploaded my January one. If you want to check that out, link is in my description and yeah. So if you guys want to know about like my playlist and what I like to listen to, Go check that out. How long have you been going to Bethany? I'm guessing this is someone local. I can't really see the names because it just says the questions. But um, how long have you been going to Bethany? Um, that was my home church back in Michigan. I went there for, I think, about two and a half years. I started going my junior year. That was when I was like full heartedly like, this is what I'm doing, like I'm pursuing God. I kind of just went there and up until I left for Bethel. What's something you want to say about those looking or going to BSSM? I would like to say, hmm, for me, one of the things I wish that I knew before coming here was to kind of take more time to process things. So we do a lot of homework and we do a lot of things like that. And when you first get here, it can get kind of overwhelming. You're like trying to make friends. You're trying to like make friends with your housemates. You're just trying to do a bunch of things like that. And so it's like all like a bunch of stuff mixed with your homework and everything. But I would say take time to like process things. Talk to your intern and just tell them like you need more time to process things. Cause for me, I was trying to do everything like on top of each other and I was just like cramming everything in, but I was getting burnt out really fast. And so I really, now in school i'm t i'm kind of like taking the time to like actually like listen to god and like what he has to say and what he wants to teach me in this season someone said advice on moving out of state when you are a family person girl let me tell you i am such a family person i get so homesick but ah uh, this is a tough question because i don't really know if i have necessarily overcome it because i do get really homesick still when i moved so since i'm moving across i moved across the country i literally came here not knowing a single person i didn't know my roommates i didn't know any Anybody that was going to school here and so I kind of was just like jumping in I was just like diving right in I didn't really um, I wasn't prepared with any like relationships yet I had to completely start over but through making friends I created a family here I just put myself out there and I just wasn't afraid for people to see the true me and once people saw the true me certain people were attracted to that that person and so um, I've created and cultivated a family in here it's really nice having people here that I can call family but it still is hard not having my family here but I do call them a lot like I just FaceTime them a lot so I definitely recommend just like call them whenever you're homesick but yeah I, I feel you girl I feel you someone said what inspired you to start making YouTube videos about your walk and faith with our savior. I decided that I wanted to be the type of person that I knew that I needed when I was younger. When I was younger, there really wasn't anybody out there that I could look up to, that I could see as an example, as a good example, if that makes sense. I've always been into YouTube, and so I would see YouTubers, but it would be hard because nobody really was open about their faith, and no one really wanted to talk about um, their relationship with God. I decided, hey, like people are gonna be on YouTube. People are going to be on social media no matter what. You're never gonna get rid of it. I want to use this platform that God's given me to glorify him because he's the one that's given me this platform. And so I want to use it for his glory. Everything goes to him. And so I think that's one of the main reasons that I really want to start YouTube. Favorite color, ooh, this is too personal. I'm kidding. I would say yellow for sure. Even though I never wear yellow, I love yellow. Yellow and black. I like black a lot. I also like blue. Oh, I like all the colors, but I say yellow is my favorite. Favorite food? Oh gosh. This is probably the hardest question yet. My favorite food. I love cookie dough. 
but that's probably not considered a food to society, so um. <laughs> my best friend in high school asked me, uh, your best friend in high school, um, you, Alyssa, I love you with my whole heart. <laughs> what Bible do you use? I will link my Bible down below so you guys can check it out and buy it if you guys are interested. But I painted mine, so like it's gonna look different, but you can paint yours. Would you recommend Bethel to a friend? Yes, I would absolutely recommend Bethel to a friend. Um, I would first consider praying about it, though, because it is kind of a big decision, and so really talk to God and only come to BSSM if you know that God's calling you to BSSM. <laughs> Someone asked, do you see the Bethel music people often? Well, Bethel is my home church, so yes, I do. I see them every Sunday, but it's not always like Stephanie Gretzinger and Amanda Cook and Jeremy Like It's not always the same like Bethel music people. It's like they have more people that aren't just like the more famous ones, I guess. Any plans to get more tattoos? Mm, good question. <laughs> I'm getting one this weekend. <laughs> morning person or night owl? Night owl for sure. I'm trying to get myself to be a morning person though. I'm trying to wake up before 8 a.m. Which is just so hard. It's not possible. Favorite movie? Okay, this is weird because like this is not a common popular movie at all. Vantage Point? If you guys have ever seen Vantage Point, it's a good movie. Do you miss LCS performances? <laughs> I miss them so much. I actually think about them a lot and I really miss doing LCS shows. So uh, that was as many questions as I'm gonna answer right now. I literally already filmed 21 minutes. And so, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for asking me questions. I absolutely love hearing about what you guys have to say and everything like that and what you guys wanna know. Yeah, just thank you guys so much for actually being involved in my YouTube and in my channel. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below. I will try to answer as many as I can. And yeah, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Do not forget to like and share and subscribe down below comment your questions and more video requests or anything like that or if you just want to talk ask on my instagram link down below if you guys want to message me i will promise you i'll message you back i do not have any unopened messages on my phone so yes there's that all right i love you guys so so much i'll see you guys in my next video peace out y'all